This time on the lateral line, the boys are getting picked up by a helicopter and we are going to get flown to Great Barrier Island and we are going to spend the day fishing on Great Barrier Island. And at this time of year, I reckon that is a recipe to catch a massive snapper. But that mission is happening in two days' time. I am right now about to head into the shed, start to pack up my gear. Milan is turning up here at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, and it is not just Milan that is turning up. Graham the Butcher is also coming along on this one. I met Graham when I was like 12 or 13 years old at school. Both of us left school at about the same time to go and do butchery apprenticeships. And then we ended up working in the same meatworks together. We were flatting together, partying together, you name it, we did it. But as of right now, with all of that history that we have, we've only been fishing together once. And that is something we need to rectify big time. Tomorrow afternoon we are going to go fishing and we're going to go fishing at a spot that I've only ever fished at once before. And all I can really tell you about that spot is that it is an absolute mission to walk there. And the one time that I have been fishing there, we never caught any fish. But I reckon if you were there on the right day that anything fishing is possible. And Graham, as of right now, hasn't caught anything more than a sprat while land base fishing. So I know that anything that Graham catches above that is going to put a huge smile on his face. But have no fear, if the boys don't catch any fish, the only thing that Graham was required to bring with him on this trip was some meaty treats so that the boys don't go hungry tomorrow night. So that is about as far as I can foresee on this one and I will keep tomorrow's fishing as short as I possibly can and get straight into the chopper mission the following day. See you all then. And this episode of The Lateral Line is brought to you by Suzuki Outboard Motors. Without Suzuki's support, myself and Milan would not be able to create The Lateral Line. Graham outfished you and now he's out cooking you. Yep. Something like that, NATO. What's going on, man? (laughs) Everyone just wants to care for you, brother. It has been a very relaxing start to the day. The alarm bell was ringing at 6am as opposed to 4am, which I think I could get used to pretty quick. So the boys have just hung out, bacon and eggs for breakfast. The boys are full of coffee. We are packed and ready awaiting the arrival of the chopper. The boys in the chopper have been delayed a little bit. They obviously can't fly until it's daylight anyway, but we've also had a text that there's a bit of fog around, so they are delayed even just that little bit more. But anyway, my ears are wide open, awaiting the sound of the chopper, and then we are loading all our gear into the chopper, obviously, and it is going to be a pretty quick flight across to Great Barrier Island from what Milan said. The boys are flying from, like, Huntley to where we are, the tip of the Coromandel, in like 20 minutes. So that makes a flight across to Great Barrier like five or 10 minutes. Get landed on a rock and into it. The uh, chopper pilot and the guy that owns the chopper, Ben, is not opposed to moving around over the day. So I'd imagine if we aren't into fish pretty quickly, then we will be rock hopping with a chopper. Excitement levels are beyond jacked for this one. This is one of those missions where catching something massive is very, very possible. And to see Graham with a massive snapper in his arms is right now the thing that I most want to film. So, um, yeah, bring on the chopper. This is going to be a good one.
I've been lucky enough to be on a few helicopter rides, mostly heading into the bush to go bow hunting, but that helicopter trip was the best helicopter trip that I've ever been on. All the helicopters that I've been in have just been little things, but this thing is big, fast, and extremely powerful, and yeah, I had a massive smile on my face from the start of that trip to the end of that trip. It was... Unreal, some of those shots coming into Great Barrier to Land was epic. Everything right now is perfect. There's no swell, the water's clean as, the boys are just getting their gear out, getting set up. Milan's already got burly in the water and the fishing is about to begin and this should be good. There's gotta be some fish out there worthy of taking home to eat. And as I think I've said twice or maybe even three times on this one already, we got a chance of something massive. Bring it on, here we go. This is gonna be good. Do you have anything to say that was as epic as that helicopter ride? Um, no, but I'm gonna catch a big snapper. <laughs> <laughs> the burley's going, there's more rain than the burley trail. Oh, first cast for me, Lane. Anything in the burley? I'm an expert at this because I learned how to do it yesterday. <laughs> Shouldn't you be at work making sausages or something? Nah, I should be right where I am. <laughs> this is exactly where I'm meant to be. Right now. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Good on you, mate. <laughs> Loses it. <laughs> Oh, wet feet. Wait. Snapper fishing with a saltig is awesome. <laughs> You're a man after my own heart, Graham. Oh, I love it. <laughs> what are you up to, Milan? Trying to catch coeys. The mighty co-hero. I should be concentrating on big snapper, but... Well, that is concentrating on big snapper, isn't it? Well, it's a big snapper bait and a, and a live bait. It's every, every good bait you could imagine. Massive. It's massive. Monstrous. <laughs> it wasn't worth the tangle, was it? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see you catch that. Yeah, it's my secret bait. Your secret bait is definitely your secret bait because I've never even seen you catch it. What is it? Half a Mau Mau. Half a Mau Mau. Now I'll see if there's a big one around. <laughs> Has it been eaten? Oi! Ooh. It's been eaten! Yeah. <laughs> How good is it? <laughs> well, I ate a good bait. I ate a real good bait. Of eel. Big eel. Uh, Small one, foul hook. Oh, it's still the biggest one so far. It's a great eating fish, is what it is, Mingwen. I'm going to catch some dinner today. <laughs> going through the dinner fish to get to the whopper. I hope that getting all the effort and putting your effort into getting a helicopter to come to barrier is going to be the way of catching a big snapper. Only time will tell. No shortage of good sized eating fish. Oh, nice looking bait, Mingling. Yeah. Next. Why you caught a fish, man? Another one. <laughs> Another one. little <laughs> <laughs> Bigger, hopefully. Rion managed the live bait. We got a double. What's Graham got? You got a kawai. Yeah, it's bait. Go, Graham. Yeah, just get him on the rocks, man. Get him on the rocks, man. Yeah. How big's big? Burley starting to work, NATO. Burley is definitely starting to work looking at that. Beautiful fish. He's a stunner, mate. That's what we wanted. 
You got a lobby on real? Nah. Well, so far, this one is nothing short of epic. <laughs> this place is beautiful. There has been a number of fish caught that are in the pack to take home. So we're going to be eating fresh fish and that is always the number one goal. There is of course still the chance of something massive but right now my sights are set on the contraption that Rion has brung to cook the boys lunch. It looks awesome. Looking forward to that one. While I had the drone up, a live bait has been rigged and set to purpose. What a seal just ate your livey. Seal ate my You can just light your coals just like that. Milan brings this little gas torch when he does our one. Oh, you're on burn. Maybe Milan should stick to fishing, eh? Yeah, I think so, man. <laughs> he uses a full-blown gas torch. <laughs> nah, I normally have a little chimney, so you put all the all the coals in a chimney, you put these underneath, and it just gets everything going real good. So it just creates a flame, whatever you use? Yeah, yeah. These are just fire lighters. Mmm, these scotches are going to be good. Oh, that's pretty special, Rion. How good, mate. How good. <laughs> that looks real good. <laughs> Hope so. I've been busy filming Rion cooking lunch. Then I hear a bit of squawking. Graham's hooked up. Oh, it's a nice fish, Graham. That's it, that's it, bro. Oy. Yeah! <laughs> nice work, brother. Yes, boy! Because <laughs> look at your fish, mate. That's a nice fish, man. That is a real nice fish, Graham. That's <laughs> a beauty, mate. Yes, boy. Pretty happy with that. <laughs> What's the magic temperature? Uh, 135 for um, medium rear. 135 medium rear. Yep. So we got what about 120 over here. Well, that one there, one there's pretty hot. We're nearly ready to go. Yeah, Let's open up for a bit. Oh, this is flash, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Poor mate. <laughs> Poor mate. Okay, mate, you hold those. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> about all I caught all day. <laughs> a few steaks on the rods. <laughs> Biggest meat you ever had in your hand, eh? Yeah, that's right, that's for sure. <laughs> Bait that one. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I might even be able to form a strike. Oh, I did form a strike. Just. Oh, it's a big one, mate. Is it? Yeah. How big? Real big. Real big? Yeah. <laughs> bigger than Graham's? Bigger than Graham's. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it's a big snapper. You reckon it's a big snapper? Yeah. If that's a snapper, it's a donkey, mate. Please be a big snapper, not a shark. Are you calling up for a big snapper? I'm calling it for a snapper. Oh, it is a snapper! <laughs> it's a massive one! <laughs> Milan goes and does it again! Why well, haven't done oh, it on the rock? Milan! Holy, Holy shamolies! 
That's good timing. Three on stakes are about ready. <laughs> the chase for Big Snapper continue. We tried the west coast and now we're trying the east coast. And the snapper are just ginormous. Whoa. But it is winter time and it's when these big snapper come into the shallows and all we're doing is pumping heaps of burley on beautiful ledges and waiting for big snapper to come along and eat bait. Oh, he's a stunner, mate. An absolute stunner. Graham might have cleaned me up on the kingfish yesterday, but I think I got him on the snapper today. <laughs> Perseverance for those big snapper always counts. Photo's taken. Let him strip. Good work, wet shoes, mate. Go that way. Woohoo! So good having that clean water so you can see him swim away. Yeah. <laughs> How awesome's that? Pretty awesome, man. We started snapper fishing and we're doing it well, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat some steak. You should see Rion steak, it's as good as your snapper. Oh, that looks good, man. How's that for a semi? Your salad <laughs> looks insanely good. Do you like your greens, Daz? Is it your salad? Pretty cool burly trail. Very, very cool burly trail. Just needs a big kingfish going around and eh? Yeah. He lands out of bait trying to get another mighty cull. Oh, why? That didn't take long. <laughs> Two second fight. <laughs> That's the one, mate. I... Is that it? A half car why? That'll do it, man. That'll do it. You like my saltiga, don't you? Yeah. Pretty nice. <laughs> it's caught a few big snappers now. Well, I got that one on the bait runner. Oh, you did too? Yeah. But I reckon if there's a big snapper like that out there, I want to catch it on the big gear. I don't want to mess around and accidentally lose one. Accidentally oh, lose one? Oi, 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 oi. That's a big hit. That's a long cast too. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I pulled the hooks back No! Oh. No! That was solid! That was a solid hit, man! <laughs> friggin' heck. Friggin' heck, mainland. That was a fish no, and a half. No! Friggin'! Friggin' heck, that was a fish and a half. <laughs> It's a happening thing, NATO. It's called <laughs> make your bait bigger every single time. That one gets eaten, we know it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Well, we know there's a big one out there. Can we stuff it up? Oh, yeah. Must be tickle again. <laughs> Was it a good run as well? <laughs> what a day! What an epic, epic day! And it isn't over just yet. But the boys are packing up their gear. We're going to get all the gear sorted, get back in the chopper. And then there's talk of a bit of a scenic tour. Going to head north down the coast of Barrier here, fly over Barrier, back down the other side, and then head back to where we are staying. If we see a awesome spot to target a kingfish, there might even be the boys landing on the rocks and having a crack at a kingfish. But other than that, it is just get back to the wool shed, get organised, and cruise for the rest of today. After an epic aerial tiki tour of Great Barrier Island, 
The boys were on the hunt for a likely looking big kingfish haunt. The ideal scenario being an island with deep water right on the edge of it, a bunch of current pumping right past it, and maybe even a school of fish and birds working within casting distance of that island. At least, that's the dream scenario, right? After looking at a couple of islands that we couldn't land on, we found an island that we could land on that had all the hallmarks of a big kingfish. And if I am now to just sum that hour or more up pretty quickly, we didn't catch a kingfish or even see a kingfish, but as always, it was awesome fun trying. And that pretty much brings this one to an end. So now it is thank you time. Chur chur, brother Rion. Thank you so much for all that you did to organize that day. And thank you for introducing us to both Ben and Daryl. And to Ben, chur chur, my brother. That was the most epic day that I have ever had creating the lateral line. And I know that without your input, it never would have happened. So Ben, Chur chur, my brother, that was so very much appreciated. And to Chopper Pilot Daryl, chur chur, brother, thank you so very, very much for taking us for an amazing ride in your epic machine. It was very, very cool. And chur chur for going that little bit extra and giving the boys a bit of aerial acrobatics there at the end. <laughs> that will not be forgotten anytime soon, trust me on that one. Now there is only one thank you left, and that is to all of you out there that are watching this video. Chur chur, my brothers and sisters, thank you all so very, very much for watching The Lateral Line. Because you're watching The Lateral Line, myself, Graham and Milan got to go hang out with Rion, Ben and Daryl on Great Barrier Island, eat like kings, catch some big fish and have a ton of fun. I will leave you with another instalment of Milan's build video. And once again, I will say, see you all again very, very soon. What a feeling it is to start to see the final parts of a giant puzzle come together. Every part a learning curve in some way, shape or form. I kind of thought I knew the ins and outs of building a house. But once you've been on site every day, organised everything and paid the bills, do you really get an understanding of how important every part plays? It's like a three-dimensional puzzle that if you get one part wrong, the whole thing could unravel and cause you a whole lot of pain. Communication? Good people and lots of positive energy is a good formula for getting it right. Eric is now fully underway with the tiling. He has waterproofed the three bathrooms and now has started laying tiles. But not before making a full plan with every room. Once Eric started cutting tiles, he had a full understanding of where he was going to start and where he was going to finish up. What tiles he needed to cut to keep rooms looking uniform and beautiful to the eye making sure grout lines matched when they went from the floor to the walls. It's very cool watching and understanding the finer points of what tiling is, and how I thought I was going to be able to tile my bathrooms and make it look like a million dollars. Sometimes things should be left to the professionals. In this case, tiling will be left and paintbrushes will be picked up. Painting I have done before and don't mind doing, so Alex and myself decided to take on the mammoth task of fully painting the whole of the inside of the house. This is something that if needed to be fixed can be done later on down the track. Alex was keen to give it a crack and it didn't take long to see bare jib turn white and then the colour started to flow. The idea was to try to keep white as low on the palette as possible and use colour to bring the house to life. Alex was a master painter on the roller and the brush and we really started to see results. Today is a special day for Alex, as it's her birthday. So thank you for all you do. Happy birthday, darling.
This episode of The Lateral Line is proudly brought to you by the Bowler Triangle, NATO's bow hunting YouTube channel. Without the Bowler Triangle, The Lateral Line would not exist. Hey, you little buckers, what are you doing, man? God, Jesus, you're just gonna get shot, man. What are you doing, man? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.